Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Chomin Prajna. First and foremost, um, I like to preface this Dharma talk by saying, don't know. Um, when uh, when Sun's name last Wednesday asked me to give this talk, I um, I was apprehensive. And um, and he told me a story uh, about Zen Master Sung's son essentially asking somebody the, the same thing. I'm I'm thankful that he burst that bubble, uh, much in the same way that uh, 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 the venerable Doctor Wanji Dharma uh, burst burst my bubble, so to speak, when I first met him. Um, the first thing he asked me when I got off the, got off the road at a nine hour drive was, uh, "You want a beer? So go lay down." You know, and um, and and that simple interaction, I didn't real, I didn't real, you know, uh, looking back now, I realize how, you know, I realize how wise my teacher was, and like you, you just drove nine hours. What else are you supposed to do? You know, here I go, I go, I go um to meet him with with all these ideas and all these preconceptions. Oh, I'm going to meet this Zen master, and when I meet him, we're gonna, you know, he's gonna come to the door, and you know, and it's, and it's, it's like, no, stop it, stop it. You know, I, I say that to say um, the main the main point of the, the talk that I, that I wanted to give tonight was about good situation and bad situation. Um, and uh, in 2019, um, the store I was working, I was working at GameStop. It got robbed at gunpoint. That uh, it, kind of, it kind of put some things into perspective for me um, as far as. I guess I say as far as as far as how I was spending my time, um, it didn't it didn't register at the time that, um, you know, a year or two later I would end up losing losing a losing a great friend, um, you know. Um, but that being said, uh, from from that from that loss and even from the uh, from the robbery situation. Uh, from those bad situations, um, I'd say arose some good situations in that losing, uh, losing, uh, losing my teacher, it it showed me how precious this um, this uh, this brief instance of life we have is, you know. It, uh, and not only that, the, um, it it, it uh, it taught me that we should really we should work more to appreciate not only the teachers that we have in our lives, but uh, the loved ones that we have in our lives because they are also teachers as well. Me, yeah, I have a I have an excerpt here from from his Wang Yap speech. Um, in the in the speech, he was talking about the first precept um, it was welcoming everything and pushing nothing away. It says my first uh, Zen teacher, Sang Song that Jung saw was quite fond of saying, "Put it all down." which is his way of saying, welcome everything, push away nothing. Um, well, following, following that robbery, I had a lot of feelings towards that, uh, towards that robber. Um, I had a lot of hatred. I had a lot of resentment that how dare you come into this safe space, this safe space <laughs> uh, where, I, where I work, you know, and rob this job that I wanted, you know, um, not recognizing that you know this, this person, this person that robbed this place was suffering as well. You know, yeah, um, the suffering that that uh, my co-working co-workers and I endured uh, was about. This person was also suffering as well. That hatred, because uh, I, I did have hatred towards this person, um, began to manifest in um and be uh I get as you say using using copious amounts of alcohol heedlessly um and unskillfully which ultimately led to me resigning from my position as a monk um in re and resigning from that position as a monk I had so I had so much regret so much uh so 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 many questions of what what could have happened if I would have stayed and I would have studied with Sansa and him, and even more so after he passed away. Um, so many questions and so many preconceptions of what could have happened had I stayed with the order. What could have happened had I done that? What could have happened had I done that? Um, you know, and and 
in doing all that, um, you know, not good, not bad, true, but in doing all that, I also forgot to uh, to be here um, and to and to live in the moment, to welcome everything and not to push anything away, to continue to continue to exert. It says in Zen, we say things like live in the moment and be mindful in recognizing good situations and bad situations, the bad situation of, of losing a loved one. Um, there's also an opportunity, like I say, to recognize the, the, that we're all more, we all have a limited time span here on this earth and recognizing that to, to be more compassionate, to be more caring to the people that we care about, to, to take time, to listen deeply to the people that we say we love. Um, it doesn't mean to be perfect. I, I joke with my son often about about a uh, perfection. I say, uh, put on your perfect face. And you do it. You know, we make big goofy faces, and you know, because again, it it goes back to ideas, ideas that we have about ourselves, ideas that we have about um, any number of outcomes that you could that you could think of. Um, Pima Children to continue to excerpt Pima Trojan, Chodron, who is a teaching lineage holder of the Chogam Trungpa Rinpoche, says. It from the opposite perspective, which is to abandon all hope. Uh, this means to give up our ideas that things will change other than what they are. Um, when that robbery occurred, not to make light of life and death, but whenever when that robbery occurred, um, the only thing the only thing that was on my mind at that point in time was just was was just being here another day. Um, being here, being able to appreciate uh, the simple things, spending time with my child, uh, spending time with my with my mother, spending time with my family, um, spending time with with the uh, with the people that that I love. Thankfully, thankfully, the situation uh, re was resolved. We was able to get out of that situation safe. But I'd say it gave me a. I, I definitely say it gave me a fresh perspective. Uh, as far as the appreciation of life and uh and the acceptance of the of the present moment that you know the one day one day um I, I don't I don't know um uh, when my time will come to an end. I know that it will come to an end. Um but that in that being said and in abandoning all hope that um that things would that you know that me studying the Dharma will save me from dying. That's not how it works. But uh, studying the Dharma will uh, definitely alleviate the suffering that comes uh, with the human experience and that comes with, you know, day the day to day life. Um, at the very least, uh, making it a little bit more bearable and in and in you know and in, in shouldering that. Um, the life lessons that comes with suffering, I can teach other people how to how to shoulder it a little bit better, how to make their journey through this uh through this realm. I'm sorry, a little bit easier. Again, continuing continuing the excerpt, it says abandoning the the idea that the outcome of a given situation is other than what it is right now. We face this life with the full awareness. Suzuki Roshi once said something to the effect of, "It's like going to a restaurant for lunch." And when your lunch is served to you, you say to yourself, I shouldn't have come to this restaurant. I should have gone to some other restaurant. Well, you can look at life like this restaurant, <laughs> you know, um, we, we're, we're here, you know. Um, and it's not good and not bad. You know, it, it just is. Um, we, we, we live, we love, we make mistakes. Um, but I think, I think the important thing to do uh, it's to just bring our awareness back, back here, regardless of regardless of what mistakes, regardless of what um, unskilled with this, unskillful decisions we may or may have not made. Um, bring our our whole self to the experience of life, um, being present, paying attention, moment after moment, how we treat each other, how we treat ourselves. I, I, it, it's hard to even put into words. It, it, um, it as as in the essence of Zen, a lot of a lot of things have to be uh, experienced directly. And with that, uh, I, I thank y'all for y'all time.